Hadith 20. Everything of this world is accursed, except the dhikr of Allah, the messenger of God, divine contact upon him and wholeness has said, the world and all its contents are cursed, except the following three, the dhikr of Allah and everything that is near it, the alam and the student the seeker of knowledge. An Abi Hurayrata Kala Samatu Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Ma Yakulu Dunya Malu Natan Wal Mal Unun Ma Fiha Ella Dikra Lahi Wa Ma Wallahu Wa Aliman so if you're learning or teaching or remembering whatever that's involved with but everything in life can be involved in those processes can it but that word mal'un means accursed and Ibn Majah Behaki, Termidhi, um, I think that's it with the list of the narrators. The first may mean either things that bring one near to the Qur'a of Allah, in which case all things are helpful in doing. The Qur'a, such as eating and drinking in reasonable quantities, and all necessities in life, as also all other forms of worship are included therein, or it may mean the things that bring one near to Allah, in which case it would mean all forms of worship of Allah. And the dhikr would mean a special form of dhikr, whereas an illiterate man cannot recognize Allah, and in the second case, because ilm, religious knowledge, is the best form of worship, in spite of this, the alam and the student have been especially mentioned separately for importance. Ilm, indeed, is a great wealth. According to one hadith, learning ilm just for the pleasure of Allah is proof of the fear of Allah. Traveling in search of it is a worship. Memorizing it is like praising Allah. Making research in it is like jihad. Reading is, it is like charity. And teaching it to members of one's family promotes nearness to Allah. This is because ilm enables one to distinguish between right and wrong. It is the road sign indicating the word, road to Jannah. It provides comfort and loneliness and is a companion.